you've got family friends over and I feel really awkward filming. Maybe I should just go for it. Hi guys! Okay, okay, I've broken the ice. It's fine. They think I'm crazy. Let's go, let's just do it. So I'm in Florida again where they sell bubblegum flavoured apples. I'm sorry, but what? 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 So I thought obviously I'd try it on camera for you guys. It smells like bubblegum. This is so weird. I saw it. Ah, no! Oh, mm. Mmm. Mmm, this is so weird. It's like eating a giant piece of bubblegum. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like it. Okay, well that was disgusting. I give that a minus 10 out of 5. I don't know what that means. I'm probably going to turn into some kind of mutation now. We're in one of those weird houses where it's just like Disney everything. Whoa, Minnie, you nearly exposed yourself there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, Disney! Disney! We're not even going to Disney, so I don't know why my parents chose this house. But um, anyway, it's actually quite nice. We're on a lake and there's lake birds which are like these dinosaur things like... I haven't really got a tan. I'm still kind of pale. I'm like Fildemort, but I don't think I'd suit a Jersey Shore tan though. I'd just look ridiculous. I'd just be like, eh, come get me ladies. But yeah, no, it's been a nice holiday. Except for the fact that my brother almost died on the way out here. He got on the fated Virgin plane from Gatwick, if you heard about it. And he was just flying through this guy like, la la la, everything's fine. When the plane set on fire, the plane set on fire. So they had to make an emergency landing and let out the emergency inflatable slides and he got to slide down it, which I thought would be fun, but apparently it's kind of dangerous. Because imagine this is the tarmac and then people just go, whoo and break their legs. That's a universal sign for that. But he did get a round the world, no, a return flight to anywhere he wants in the world, which is really cool. So he's gonna go to Japan, so I'm the jealousest Phil ever at the moment. Can you see it in my eyes? I wanna go to Japan. Will you take me to Japan? I'll buy you a Pikachu. I promise I'll buy you a Pikachu. Anyway, I have had some pretty messed up dreams while I've been here. I don't know why, I think it must have been the heat or the fact that I've been eating bubblegum flavoured apples. <laughs> Especially one, which I wasn't sure I should share with you, but I know, I should share everything with you, so. I had a dream that I was the sixth member of One Direction. I can already feel your eyes judging me, stop looking at me. So I hadn't even thought about One Direction all day. When I got into bed, I wasn't thinking about them in bed. I just like fell asleep straight away and got zapped into this dream universe where I was on a beach zoo, a zeech, with Harry Styles. And he was like, hey Phil, you've made it into the band. So we had band practice and we were like, you better light up your nose just like no one else. That's like the Rudolph version of that song. And Simon Cowell was like, Phil, it's time for the X Factor performance on the phone. This is the phone. See, sign language. But yeah, there was thousands of people in the crowd and Simon Cowell was like, mm, I'm Simon Cowell. But then whenever I opened my mouth to sing, loads of beetles would crawl out of my shoes. So there's just beetles all over the stage. And Harry's like, sing, Phil, sing. Embrace the beetles, man. And I was like, oh, I don't like the beetles. But then I just started singing and then the whole stage was covered in beetles. And then Voldemort just raised up from the stage and was like, Phil, you must jump over the spike pit. And I saw the spike pit and I was like, oh God. And then Voldemort just started going rah, 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 until I realised it was a bird outside and then I woke up. It was intense. I feel better now I told you guys that actually. Please don't send me to therapy or anything. Another thing I want to tell you is I'm going to start doing live shows on younow.com where I'll be doing a live streaming show where I can talk to you guys and it's going to be awesome. I don't know what day it's going to be yet but in the meantime you should totally become a fan because I'm going to be giving away prizes to random fans over the next few weeks. Starting now actually, over the next 24 hours one of you will win a prize. So there is a link below. All you need to do is sign up through Facebook. It takes like two seconds. You could actually do it now. Let's, let's just do it now. Okay. See, thank you guys, that was easy. And over the next 24 hours, I'll choose one of you new fans to win a t-shirt. Woohoo! Today's Draw Phil Naked is... So I've got to go now and pack. I don't want to leave. It's raining so much in England and it's so nice here, but um, I probably have to return before they kick me out. Um, I hope you're having a good day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.